Now, what's cool about this cloud backup system is that you can compress and encrypt the files being uploaded to the cloud. The benefits of compressing it means that you upload it a lot faster and the benefits of encrypting it is that if for some reason someone hacks into your cloud backup account, they can't out of the box see what your files are. They'll have to decrypt it first. And it uses open SSL decryption, so it should be possible for you to manually decrypt it. And it uses BZIP compression, so you should be able to manually uncompress it yourself. I'll be testing this in the follow-up video, of course. All right, let's go into the App Center. And these are the apps that are installed. My apps, let's go into all apps. Hybrid backup and sync. All right, now that it's installed, it will appear on our desktop. Let's launch that. Ultimate solution for backing up. So you can always use this as well to back up your time machine. And volume, I'll make it HDD. Capacity, I'm going to give it a, a terabyte of storage space. There you go, I got Time Machine backup and I can do it even over Thunderbolt as well. Encrypt them, all that stuff. You can also create a Time Machine backup share by creating a new shared folder. And if you scroll to the bottom, there's a tick saying set this folder as the Time Machine backup folder in macOS. To encrypt your uploads, if you go into Profile and Edit, select Client Side Encryption and add in an encryption password. This will encrypt all your local files before uploading it to the cloud. And if you're downloading it from the cloud, it will decrypt your files. So now that I've got an encryption password, if I go to my job and create a new job, sync with cloud, one way sync, local to cloud, and Google Drive. So I want to back up my hard drive and my destination folder is going to be Q backup. Advanced settings, continuously backup, that's perfect. Policy, client side encryption, and I like to compress things. And I want to replace remote files if there's a conflict because I want to make sure that the QNAP that I have here, it's, it's the truth, and the cloud is just purely a backup. Ignore symbolic links, include hidden files, that's good. And that's it, and you hit add, and there you go. So HED is gonna get backed up into my cloud storage. And so it's gonna be continuously backing up. So over here, um, it's already backed up a file, and because I've uploaded it compressed and encrypted, if I do download that file just using Google Drive manually, I won't actually be able to see the contents of that file without uncompressing it and decrypting it. According to QNAP, to decrypt, you use OpenSSL. With file compression, your files will be compressed using a BZIP. The compression is carried out using BSIP, so you can decompress your files using BSIP if you download the files using other utilities. All right, thanks for watching. I hope you found this video useful. If you have any questions, leave a comment below. And of course, let me know what NAS drive you have or what NAS drive you're planning to get. All right, it's time to get some Thunderbolt speed.